Hey everybody, AmpreyPairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So, I'm very busy here at the shop. I'll have another sick, uh, another video on that 6 meter amp soon. So I have to get some of my regular work done before I can get back to that project. So, customer dropped off two separate AL572 Maritron amps. Thing has a lot of problems. So I'm going to go ahead and lift one end of the pink resistors, take a, ve a, a reading, and they'll get replaced. The uh, soft start resistors damaged. You can see it's cracked, cracked. So I'll have to replace that. The grids are not grounded in this amplifier. So I will take that apart and ground them. So he, uh, you know, parasitic board assembly is loose. I think he said he may have changed it, but uh, you see the windings are coming undone. So I'll, I'll re-glue those in place. So looks like someone changed the meter lamps at some point and the electrical tape the connections. So I'll undo all of that, solder and heat shrink it. Needs new SO239 connectors. They just, you know, there's like no grip. This one's even worse, so. so. Okay, so I'll get to work and I'll be back when it's all finished. Stay tuned. Okay, upon further inspection, AMP also needs a new plate tune air variable capacitor. As you can see, the plates are damaged, all blobbed up on the corner, and you can see other more arc damage right there. So I will have to pull all of that out and replace it. I'll have to order one. I don't have any in stock. So that's that. You can see the resistors, the cap. So, I don't know what condition those are in, but I take those out and I directly ground them. So they are constructed now. Uh, it's a revision that they implemented. So, okay, so I'm going to get to work. Well, actually, I have to order the parts, but I'm going to get to work and get done what I can get done. Uh, I'll also add the gas discharge tubes and I'll take out the MOVs. The metal oxide varistors, these two right here. And uh, like I said, I'll put the gas discharge tubes underneath the sockets, one per side of the filament. Okay, I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so the grids are grounded right through the foil, soldered both sides, and added a gas discharge tube on each side of the filament, all four. Uh, filaments are in parallel, so one per side is plenty. I'll also remove the gas at the uh, MOVs. So, okay, so I'm gonna put this back together and I will remove the plate tune cap. Okay, so I got the load side removed, plate side still in there. You have to take the front panel off to take the nut off this connection and the other connection over there. Wreath wrench required, so I'm gonna pull that out, show you it, and I'll reinstall the new one. I'll be back. So I'm back with the completed amplifier, grounded the grids, put the gas discharge tubes in, got rid of the metal oxide variistors, tightened up on the parasitic board, brand new set of pentalab tubes, fixed the so a bad solder joint over here. Replace the output SO239. I'm waiting for my shipment to come. I ordered more. Uh, I need to change the input one, but the out one, output one's uh, critical. Produces full output on all bands. To, I temporarily uh, compress the clips so the input one would have a connection on a PL59. I always take a brand new PL59 connector and check the connections. Uh, always. So, because if you have an open on the output, that will cause damage to the amplifier if it's producing output. So, Change the soft start resistor, clean the soft start relay, clean the TR, TR slash bias relay, clean the output rotor switch, input rotor switch, deoxid gold, change all the resistors. These pink ones are prone to failing. They're all within tolerance, so I caught them in time, put new ones in. When one of these opens, it allows for an unequal amount of voltage to be on the cap that it's in parallel with, so, you know, 
I only see caps fail when one of these fails. So if you catch them in time, you change them, caps will probably last for you know for a long, long time. Um, let's see what else did I do? I fixed the solder joint over here, cut back the wiring, and restripped and soldered it, and he trunk it. And, uh, someone messed with the series glitch resistors or with intolerance, but as you can see, the leads are longer, and someone damaged the trace here for the wire that goes from the board to the base of the plate choke. So I bent it sideways a little because the secondary leads are so short that it was touching the side of the resistor, which is at the full plate potential, and also was touching one of the diodes for the plate rectifier. So I bent that sideways to give it a gap between the wire and the lead. So check the meter protection diode, that's good. So this thing is uh, good to go. It was a lot of work, but it came out nice. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Ampreparguy.com is my website, and I'll uh, catch you later. Take care.